Mads will be damn pleased to know you're here. Jace. Did you find my dad? I'm sorry, kid. Don't say it. Harmony. If you don't say it, it isn't true. If he doesn't say it, Eddie's alive. Don't let him say it, Jace. Don't let him. I'm sorry, kiddo. I'm so sorry. And Ayana? I know where she is. I can bring her back. I couldn't help Fox, but I can bring her back. <laughs> Please, try. Save Ayana. There's no one else. Nomad, I feel like, because we didn't trust her when we should have, I feel like we owe Ayana. We really need to help her now. Josiah, Sergeant Major Hill has her. He was working with Yellowleg and three other ex-ghosts. If I can find the rest of them, I ought to be able to find where he took her. I can help her. Look, Ayana risked a lot for everyone else, you know? You don't have to tell me that. And we still need her help. She'll know where the drone control program is broadcast. I'll provide you with a key to plug into their CPU. We'll have the drones working for us. All right, genius. I'll find her and we'll get us some drones. I'm gonna miss Fox. I already do. What was his job, anyway? He was a mathematician, but unofficially, he was the Pexplo Man. That's some indie superhero reference. Pexplo Man is an abbreviation for the Perpetual Exploding Man. It's the title of an old sci-fi novel we both read. It's about a telepathic private eye, very inside joke. We called Fox Pexplo Man around the office because he was just so enthusiastic. His reaction to every good idea, it was... It was like his mind was blown. Yeah, I'm surprised he kept Ayana being his source a secret. I figured he'd brag about something like that. He had a good spirit, you know. But it shows you. You never really know another person, what they're thinking. Unless you're a telepathic private eye. Yeah, Pexplo man. Tell me what else you know about Miles. I've only met him unofficially. You know those guys who are somehow everywhere? Know everyone? That was Miles. Made a lot of intros, huh? He made all the introductions. He introduced me to a whole new network of people, and I put them all on my team. He sounds like the kind of government contact an entrepreneur would love to have. I'm not an idiot. I knew he had his own goals. I, I just never imagined they'd include taking over my own company. Hey. At what point did you stop being a part of Walker and Stone's plan? I told you. They took the company from me. And that's why you ran? They were supposed to be running their test of the lethal drones out in the Tar Desert in Rajasthan. Instead, they tested their linchpin models. What's a linchpin model? Their idea is that killing a key individual, a linchpin, 
will put a chain of events in motion that will cause a desired outcome. Like killing Franz Ferdinand started World War I. They wanted to start some chaos between India and Pakistan. The models were flawed, but it almost worked. I tried to put a stop to it. That's why they took over. That's why I had to run. Why would they be sending those drones off in a submarine? How many must be in there? Dozens? Hundreds? Whatever they're planning has to be massive. With just a handful of drones, using efficient linchpin algorithms, they can start a war in any politically tense area. The real question is, why would anyone want to start a war? Or bootstrap events provoking a series of wars? This is too big. Miles can't be the only person in the CIA that's involved. Can't be the only person in government that's involved. It's probably more than one government. Too many innocent people will die. We won't let that happen. We can't let that happen. Stay out of trouble. Focus is my forte. You okay? Sentinel must have been an ordeal. They are the filthy scum of the Earth. Everything's been worse since they came to Aroa. Security? <laughs> that bad, huh? They're an occupational force here to control and intimidate. Seems to be working. They've got a lot of people scared. Some are starting to push back. I might not be a fighter like you are, but I will always resist them. Whatever way I can. That's why I built the energy cell for the outcasts. And that went to hell in a handbasket. You don't need to remind me. I just wanted them to have a source of electricity that wasn't hijacked from the Skell network. Keep them truly off-grid. One thing's for sure. I need to take better care in who I trust. Stay safe. You too. You okay, Harmony? You want me to help you unpack your stuff? I don't need your help. Maria's helping me. All right. Your dad was really brave. I'm glad I got to meet him. I wish we never met you. I'm sorry, kid. Take care, kid. Let's get you suited up.
Later, brother. Later.